because I was the last one out, uh, before I even got to put my leg out, I got had a big breath of the smoke. And then by the time I got on the ladder, the smoke was billowing out of my window. Charles Sternlieb barely escaped a fire at his Greenfield apartment. When the flames erupted last Wednesday, Sternlieb and his daughter Sophie were stuck inside. We tried going through the living room, but there was flames at the door. The only way out through this window. Once the ladder came, there was already smoke coming in our room and I busted out the screen. His daughter first, then Sternlieb made their way down the ladder, leaving behind everything they owned. As soon as I got onto the ground, I was like, I was like thankful for my life because everything in the house can be replaced, but lives can't. I didn't realize what kind of danger we were actually in. My only thought, believe it or not, after we got to about here was I needed oxygen. Medics took Sternlieb to a hospital to be treated for smoke inhalation. Attendant in the ambulance said that my whole mouth was black. A tragedy for the family, but not their first. Their home also burned in a fire back in 2009. Whole kitchen was gone, but all of our belongings were smoke damaged. So we still had all of our photos, all of our memorabilia that we needed, stuff like that we didn't lose. You know what I'm saying? But this time, we lost everything. I'm sure of it. Everything lost except his will to push forward. I'm smiling. What else can I do? My glass, my glass is more half full than half empty. It's a positive attitude. Kendall, where is the family staying now? Well, they're staying with his oldest daughter for now, but tell me their insurance company will be putting them in a hotel soon. We do have a link to help the family get back on their feet, though. It's in this or it's on this story on our website, WISN.com. Kendall Keys live in Greenfield tonight. Kendall, thank you.